back everybody on deck today for review we're not talking about the gun we're talking about this rig that I'm wearing here this uh, is a relatively low cost way to get into the plate carrier uh, game in these armor game what I'm gonna do today is just do a bunch of shooting with it on just to get my impressions with it I've been shooting with it for about a month now and uh, do a little drag test to see how durable the material is and then talk about just some of the features of it pros and cons what I think of it overall so that's what's coming up today guys I'm gonna go ahead and drag it by the car to see how well that Cordero holds up. Let's see. I dragged it about 200 feet. We'll see how it looks now. After uh, riding on this dirt and gravel road, I'll get a little slack in there so I can pull it up, unhook it. Well, other than being dirty, it's surprisingly uh, well kept. You get to get a look at it there. There's definitely some, we got on camera here, a little bit of scuffing here on some of the uh, webbing. But other than that, it definitely held up well. I'm going to try to go over all the different features of this vest here one by one. Let's see if we can knock them out. First off, it comes in black, tan, which is what you see here, olive drab, as well as uh, multicam pattern. Uh, the multicam is relatively new, so if you guys have checked on the website since I've been talking about this on uh, my Facebook page and you didn't see it, that's why. It is relatively new, but it is out as of the release of this video. So um, we'll go over it. Up front here we have a full cross section across the top of the chest where you can put your name plates, patches, blood type, whatever you want. And of note, they do have the molly webbing sewn in there so you guys can continue to put your gear up top as well as down bottom depending on how you want to configure your uh, plate carrier. On the lower portion of the front of the plate carrier there is a mat pouch. The mat pouch is secured by Velcro. It does have a button in there as well. Of note though, it does not actually fold down like some of them out there. It's just something you want to take note of. And when you go ahead and lift it up underneath, via these tabs that go underneath when you're wearing it, pull up on the Velcro, and you'll see here that's how you adjust uh, your cummerbund in the front. There's also a way to adjust the cummerbund in the back. We'll get to that a little bit later. The shoulder straps on the plate carrier are also adjustable and do have optional padding that you can remove. Now this is the pad here, it also has these little tabs for running your hydration carrier in the front. As I said if you're not going to uh, run a hydration carrier I would take them off because um, they are kind of annoying. Um, in my opinion just flapping out there but if you're running a hydration carrier obviously it's very helpful. So to remove the pads you just pull it out with hook and loop fastener that you see and it is nice padding. It, it absolutely does help when you're carrying around that. Uh, the vest fully loaded up and it's, they're detachable as well uh, via the clip there and that's how you also adjust the length of it. and you can secure it there once you pick the length that you uh, desire. Here's a little of the uh, damage or really lack thereof from the drag test. You guys saw that out there that gravel road is pretty rough stuff and it held up very well. I mean everything's completely usable. Uh, really not in, even any fraying of the uh, stitching so very good there, uh, especially again for the cost that you're paying for this plate carrier. I, I was uh, impressed with it for sure. On the uh, top, I should also point out, there's on the top of the back there is um, hook and loop tape. So again, if you want to put name patches, and uh, they are also um, set up so that way you can rig your molly gear through there as well. On the bottom here, we have our cummerbund, which as I talked about earlier is fully adjustable. I'll pull it out and show you what I mean by that. So, here we go. You can adjust it to whatever length you want, so if you're a little wider in the midsection, um, that's probably the way you want to go. I'm, as many of you know, I'm 6 feet tall, 185 pounds, so I got it pretty much as tight as you can get it down there. And this is a large size. We'll go over the sizes here a little bit later on, but this is a large, extra large. I'm really right in between the large, extra large, small, medium, at least I think so. So it's a little bit on the large side for me. Uh, small, medium might be a little bit on the small side for me, but just depends what you want more uh, more armor versus more mobility and less weight that's the uh, classic conundrum I suppose but so that is the cummerbund there that's how it adjusts in the back clearly you can roll these up so you don't look like a, a big uh, a jackass with them all hanging out but I left them out just to show you guys that they are adjustable here in the cummerbund itself it does have these spaces so you can put your soft body armor in there which I do have and have been wearing in there as well so that's the cummerbund
You can set this up with either soft armor, plates, or a combination of the two. I've been using it with a combination of the two just to see how that fits and how that feels. But here's the underside of those straps for the map case, in case you guys didn't uh, get a good look at that earlier on. But to go ahead and put your armor in, all you do is pull on the uh, hook and loop tape there. Pull out your body armor. Mine's a little dirty from the drag test, as you guys can see there. So we have our soft body armor there. And then we have our, our plate here. This is an old e sappy plate. Um, this one's a size medium, but the uh, large, extra large size of these plate carriers will accept plates from 10.5 inches by 14.5 inches. And the small will accept plates that are 10 inches by 12.5 inches. So that's the uh, difference in terms of the what it'll accept for small and extra large size here in the, in the uh, plate carriers. The biggest thing that most of you guys are going to be excited about that I didn't mention so far in the review is the cost of this plate carrier. This plate carrier comes to market, if you look around, you can find it, depending on the color, um, you can find it anywhere between, on the low end, I looked this morning and saw a place that had it for $60, and on the high end, $90 for the entire plate carrier that includes the cummerbund. It doesn't include any of the kit that we have on front, or any of the body armor, but just the plate carrier itself um, for $69. Now that's an excellent deal. A lot of folks out there have a real... Uh, especially in the tactical world and the forums, you know, they have a desire to get always like the nicest stuff, like the tactical tailor stuff out there that no doubt is extremely nice. But most folks aren't going to need that kind of um, high-end uh, equipment. This stuff, I tell you what, I mean, I've had, I have a lot of plate carriers. You guys have seen several here on the channel. Um, I mean, this thing works well. It works as designed. It's comfortable. It's adjustable. It fits the plates, body armor, soft armor. It also, uh, I should say that you can mount your side uh, side plates on here if you want to on your cummerbund as well. I just don't have any uh, currently available to me, but it does have that option as well. So if you want to go ahead and mount your side side hard armor on there, you can do so as well. So for what it brings um, to the market at, at the price it comes in at, I mean, it does extremely well. I've had this one for about four months now. You guys have seen it in a few videos so far uh, over the last few months as I've been testing it out and have had, I mean, literally no issues. It works as designed, so. As always, guys, though, if you have any questions about this plate carrier, anything else out there that I test or review, you can post below in the comments section. But, like usual, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.